Hello, investors. I hope all of you had a good day. It was definitely a tricky day on the market. There was some crazy stuff kind of going on. It was definitely very choppy out there. Choppy waters, that's for sure. I did finish with the smallest of gains at a 0.003% gain. That only happened because of my day trading. I happened to do pretty good with that today. I had 11% gain doing that with 10% of my portfolio only. I highly recommend starting in a simulator and having a plan before investing real money in that type of investing style. So it's been 12 business days in a row that I've posted a gain. So I think that is pretty great. I like that. And my year to date total is 205.9% year to date return. Feeling pretty good. And we're going to keep it going and keep doing good things. So if I wouldn't have been day trading with that small amount of portfolio, as I mentioned before, I would have had a 0.7% loss. Still respectable, but that really helped me out today. And you know, the thing that I saw a lot today was a lot of stop losses get cleared. And so I kind of just want to talk about stop losses. Now, me personally, I don't use stop losses. I know, hard to believe, right? What I do is I do a mental stop loss. I take a look at every stock throughout the day and I'm looking and I'm watching. And if I have one and there's a reason behind the dip, then I will sell it. But I try to stay pretty convicted with the reason why I've got it in the first place. So when I make an investment, I have a time frame and a style and a plan already in place. And that's what I highly recommend for you. When you set a stop loss, there's a lot of sly traders out there. And what can happen is that your stop losses get cleared out by somebody who sells a large amount, who's maybe one of the institutional investors will sell just a gigantic amount, wipe out a bunch of stop losses. Stop loss happens after stop loss, after stop loss, after stop loss, until the stock is 10% or more down. And then all of a sudden that institutional investor buys up a bunch of cheap shares. And so that is kind of a trick in the stock market. And so that taking out all the stops, you know, that saying, that's where that comes from. And it's a very sly strategy for sure. So what I would recommend to you as an individual investor, and this is just what I do, I would not recommend setting those stop losses, but yet having total conviction like I'm in this stock till this amount of time because of this reason. You have to have a plan in each and every way that you invest. And that's what I always try to do. And because I have that plan is why I've been successful. I recommend you get a plan also. The one stock I kind of saw it really happen was one that was on our list yesterday and that was TRVN. And it dipped about 11, 12% down. And all of a sudden, just bam, went down. And so I saw that as an opportunity to load up. So you may have sold me some of your shares in the panic but you know i'm going to take advantage of a deal that's for sure and that's what's called a stop loss raid so when you see that when you hear someone talking about a stop loss raid that's what they're talking about so don't let your shares get stolen if you are looking for a plan and you're looking for a way to learn something new or learn a new strategy check out our patreon group that's down below I and mean, there's a lot of different strategies that we talk about we talk a lot about insiders we talk a lot about fda run-ups it's a very good group that helps one another i just love to see See all the conversations that happen back and forth as far as helping one another with different stocks. If you're looking for help, I think for the small amount of money it costs, you'll make it up in one good trade. And we have many good trades that we run through there. I always update any stock picks that I have there first because that thing's running 24 hours and that's really the best way to take advantage and learn how to make money in the stock market. Let's get to the top seven list. Let's get her done. All right, I still have TTOO. It is not on the top seven, so it will be my plus one. And I am waiting for the run on that stock. It's gonna happen at some point. There's definitely the sepsis testing that's coming. We're waiting for FDA approval, not just an FDA emergency use authorization that's coming on their tests and different things that they have going on. So there are lots of catalysts coming up for this stock and lots of reason to own it. If you're not in it and you're looking for one that could be a doubler, a tripler, I would definitely say TTOO is that stock. Number seven, number seven on the list is LPCN. They have a PDUFA date of August 28th and it is a testosterone replacement therapy that I think is very marketable. So I think that there will be a really good run up on this stock. I think it's a really good one to have. LPCN is a nice safe hold through the end of August. Number six, number six is FENC. This is brand new to the list. So this is a PDUFA run up that I am excited about and it's PDUFA date is August 10th. So we have plenty of time and it's got a priority review going on it and it is a drug for hearing loss and so i think that this is very important 
the FDA feels it's important. I think this is one that's going to have a really good run-up, and it hasn't had it yet. So if you haven't seen this or don't know anything about it, FENC, you're kind of in the ground level. This is the time to get in, really start loading up, and I think this stock is really going to take off. All right, number five. Number five has been on the list for the last couple of days. It's AVCT. It has been doing well. At least for me, it's been doing well, and hopefully it's been doing well for you also. It had a purchase of $60,000 in shares, and it was done in open market. And so ABCT is a really great stock to have and to hold. I think it's got a lot more room to run, so if you haven't gotten any yet, there's still a lot more to go. Number four is GES. Guess, this showed up on the list yesterday. Guess had a gigantic insider buy by the CEO of over a million dollars of his own money, in open market, the exact same price me or you would pay. I find that extremely, extremely, extremely bullish. And that's the reason why it really jumped a couple days ago. Today, it, you know, it finished a little bit down, but with how much it jumped, I think that was to be expected. That was definitely a good load up point, And I think it could definitely launch from here. If you haven't gotten in on it yet, it is way undervalued. GES is worth a lot more than what it's currently trading at, so that is a very good deal. Number three is NTWK. So NTWK, I like it because the CEO purchased twice. Purchased the first day and then another day. And I love to see that happen. That definitely shows conviction that that CEO really, really believes in it. It has done pretty good so far. For me, it's doing well. It is a low volume stock, and so it can be kind of tough to get in. But if you can get in and get a good price on it, one thing I like about it is that it's a low volume stock that could really run. So this thing could just take off because of just how the shares available are on it. So I think NTWK is a great investment. So I got plenty of time. I think that this is a good one. I think tomorrow that we definitely have a bounce back day from today. So I'm expecting good things. Okay, number two is TRVN. TRVN has been on the list a long time. TRVN is a great stock and it has an upcoming PDUFA date of August 7th. And I think the big run is coming. So you still have time. This is way lower than it should be. And a lot of analyst price targets are very high on this, $250 to $4. And so TRVN has a lot of room to run and it could all do it this next week. So this is the time definitely load up and get it in that one. I really like it. TRVN's a good one. And number one, number one is new to the list. It is EBF. Director Barbara Clemens bought 1,600 shares in open market, paid the exact same price me or you would pay. This has had a good day today in reacting. It came up late last night, so it missed when I made the video. It would have been on the top seven list, but it just missed it. But we called it out immediately in the Patreon group, and everyone was able to get into it and had a nice little gain in it. There's still so much room for it to run. Again, another really undervalued stock, and I think that's why the director bought in the first place. And so I think we're looking at a good run-up, and you are right at the beginning. So EBF is a great one to have. I do a lot of work for this list, so I very much appreciate if you could please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you could do me the honor of sharing this with your friends, I so much appreciate it. If you're looking for the newest and latest and greatest stocks to pick up, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. We have one of these come out every single business day, so you can always watch for that. And then also, if you're looking for a really powerful broker, highly recommend Webull, and we have a link in the description down below, and if you use that link, you'll get a free stock when you sign up, and then you'll also get another free stock after you deposit money, after your account's approved and you deposit money. I love them because I'm central time, three o'clock in the morning, I can trade. And I like to take advantage of other brokers opening later because a hot stock will be out and they can't buy yet. Immediately they come open and then what, what happens? FOMO kicks in. It goes way up. So that's why I like Weeble very much. And I think it's a good broker and a very powerful broker to have. I hope we all have a great day tomorrow. And I hope you're getting a lot of value of this list. And I so appreciate all of you subscribers for subscribing. Let's have a great day tomorrow. And Raytoven out.